All right, last week, uh, or Monday, I should say, I read this. We had the heading to an email question, and we did not have the email. Andrew Themelis apologizes profusely, and I had to stop him from committing Harry Carey. All right, lady needing advice. Don't want to go to male's friend's wedding. Hey, Bill, I really enjoy the advice portion of your podcast and could use an objective opinion. I am a lady and have a male friend that I've been friends with since I was 10 years old. I'm now 29. You know what, guys? I got to apologize for something. I have this great bit I can't wait to try out tomorrow night. And I literally was thinking about the joke I wanted to do and how far I was going to take it while I read all of that. So I have no idea what's going on in this email. If, just please forgive me as I reread this. Um, I am a lady and have a male friend that I've been friends with. Well, you just said you were friends. I have a male friend that I've been enemies with. I have a male friend that I've been friends with since I was 10 years old. I'm 29 now. Okay, so you've been friends with this guy for 19 years. Oh, jeez, did he finger bang you back in the seventh grade? My friend is with this girl that I've never warmed up to. She's a bit, now, wait a minute. Did you always think he was going to ask you? Is that what it is? Maybe they're not. Bill, why don't you just read the fucking thing? She's a bit condescending, phony, and I just don't like her. He's, he's in his early 30s. She's 25. Ah, oh, so she's got you on the old odometer there. And they both currently live with his mom, who also happens to be a good friend of mine. They have crappy jobs, don't pay his mom rent or contribute much, but instead they're putting money back to have a wedding by the end of the year. I love my friend, but he's always been a bit immature when it comes to money, responsibilities. Why are you still hanging out with these people? These people sound like fucking losers. Walk away. Be thankful you didn't hitch your wagon to this shit. I can tell you right now, if you were with this guy and you were living in his mom's house, you would not be friends with his mom anymore. You'd be like, I got to get the fuck out of here. Anyways, they, they're, not, they're immature when it comes to money, responsibility, or what it takes to be an adult. He still depends on his mom a lot. He's 32. This is pathetic. I don't hear a dad in this scenario here. Did he not have a dad and he didn't learn how to be a mom? Uh, uh, be a man, I should say, a mom. Uh, when my grandmother recently died, I was devastated, and he asked me for my, my address. I thought I would get a sympathy card, but instead I got a save-the-date card. <laughs> oh, my God. That's sad and fucking hilarious. It pisses me off that he's a bit of a selfish pr- prick in his own world and also a dumbass for being in such a rush to get married when neither one of them has their shit together. It's difficult for me to be supportive. Before you assume I'm secretly in love with him, which I did, I'm sorry, our friendship has been nothing but platonic, and I recently got married myself. I'm sorry, but this whole thing read like when Harry met Sally, except Harry never moved out. Um, I don't want to get... I don't want to go to their wedding. My question is, do you think I should put my shit aside and try to be supportive of my friend since he's happy? I feel as though our friendship has shifted a ton since he's been with this girl, and it's no longer easy talking to him. This is what you do. You go to the wedding, and then you just gradually back away. You've outgrown these people, okay? That's it. You're married. You have your own fucking life. If he wants to live at home with his mother with his new wife, whatever the fuck it is he's going to do. You just go there and just have a nice smile on your face, just being happy that you're not on the, on the other side of the I do. Okay? I'm still not 100% um, buying the fact that you don't have some sort of feelings for this kid who's now still acting like a kid in his 30s. You're 29. He's 32. He was three years older. You probably said this is perfect. Then you envision him wearing a suit and coming home bringing like Hugh Beaumont in the beginning of Leave it to Beaver with a higher-end fucking GM product, Oldsmobile, possibly a Buick. Who knows? Um, I don't know. Uh, but this is what I would do. You got to let it go. It wasn't meant to be. If, okay, and even if you don't have romantic um, feelings for this person, all right? If you don't have feelings for this fucking person, I can already tell you the fact that it's so driving you nuts that you had to write into some dope like me doing a podcast. Um, 
I don't know. The way the way this is all written, I think you wear your feelings on your sleeve, and they're going to know what's up. I would go there, you know, smile and wave, that's it. And then I would not torture your husband on the way home or the whole night critiquing them about how fucking stupid it is. Because I can tell you this right now, your husband doesn't want to fucking go. So what you should go, you should do is you should go there and you should have a great fucking time with your husband. And you should thank him for not being a fucking loser that lives at home with his mom. There you go. All right? And then go to Framebridge, take a picture of your tits, and give it to him on Sunday. That's the podcast, everybody. (laughs) God bless all of you. God bless America. And uh, that's it. Get off the internet. Go sit on the stoop and go make some music with your friends. Stop taking life so fucking seriously. Uh, stay away from credit cards Stay away from the meth uh, If your doctor prescribes any painkillers That has any opiates in it Do not take them Tough it out Just watch There Will Be Blood As you sit there on the couch rrr, rrr, Toughing it out Fucking guy dragged himself Out of the fucking Wiley Coyote mine With a broken leg To go in town Just to get a fucking gold nickel Alright You can do it Alright That's the podcast Have a great weekend You cunts And I'll talk to you on Monday